Additive relationships, y equals x plus a. Additive relationships compare the independent and dependent quantities of a relationship using addition. Additive relationships can be represented as tables, graphs, and equations in the form of y equals x plus a, where a is any rational number. Determine if the relationship is an additive relationship and explain. So we look at the table, we compare our input and our output values, and I notice that if I add 2 to this 1, 1 plus 2, I get 3. If I add 2 to this 3, I get 5. 3 plus 2 equals 5. And I, if I add 2 to that 5, I get 7. So every time I'm adding 2 to the input to equal the output. Therefore, my rule is x plus 2, and my equation is y equals x plus 2. Is the relationship additive? Yes. Why is it additive? Because it can be written in the form of y equals x plus a, where a is any rational number. 2 is a rational number, so this is an additive relationship. We are adding something to the input. So I'm going to say we are adding 2 to the input, which is our x value, to get the output, which is our y. Determine if the relationship is an additive relationship. Explain. So again, looking at our table, we compare the input and the output values, the x and the y. And I notice that uh, I could add 4 to 2 to make it equal 6. But if I add 4 to 4, that does not equal 12. So let's see what the rule here is. Well, 2 times 3 equals 6. 4 times 3 equals 12. And 6 times 3 equals 18. So here the rule is 3 times x, or 3 times the input. That means our equation is y equals 3x. This equation is not written in the form of y equals x plus a. So is the relationship additive? No, it is not. Because it cannot be written in the form of y equals x plus a, and also we are multiplying... the input, which is our x, by 3 to get the output, which is y. And that is not addition, because additive relationships involve addition. Determine if the relationship is an additive relationship. Explain. This time we are given a graph, and then we have to fill out a table and figure out what the equation is and whether or not it is additive. So let's look at our graph. Our first ordered pair that I see is 0, 0. Then we have 1, 4. And then finally we have 2, 8. So we can go ahead and plug in our x and y values in the table. And now let's see if we can figure out the rule that connects the input to the output. Well, I can't add anything to 0 to make it equal 0, but I can multiply 0 by something to equal 0. And if I look at my 1 and my 4, I can do 1 times 4 equals 4. And if I look at my 2 and my 8, I can do 2 times 4 equals 8. So our rule in this table is going to be 4 times the input, 4 times x. So we'll go ahead and plug that in to our process column, making sure to write our rule correctly and making sure to plug in our values correctly. So because the rule is 4x or 4 times x, our equation is y equals 4x. 
So what I want you to do is answer these questions. Is the relationship additive, yes or no? And then explain why or why not. Please do this on your own. Take a moment to pause the video to do this, and then we will move on to the next problem. Janine has a $10 check she received from her brother for her birthday and some money in her bank account. She has the money to make a purchase of $10 more than the amount in her bank account. The graph shows the amounts in her bank account and the amount she can spend. Make a table to show the relationship between the total amount Y Janine can spend and the total amount X she has in her bank account. So again, let's look at our ordered pairs. I see when X equals 20, Y equals 30. When X equals 30, Y equals 40. When X equals 40, Y equals 50. And then when X equals 50, Y equals 60. So we filled out our table. Now we can write an equation to find the total amount Y Janine can spend and the amount X she has in her bank account. So if we look at our table, the rule is always that we are adding 10 to the input. We are always adding 10 to the X value. So our rule is X plus 10, which means our equation is Y equals our rule, X plus 10. So this is an additive relationship, and when it says we need a verbal description to explain the relationship, we're going to explain specifically what that means for this problem. So what we're going to say is the amount Janine can spend is $10 more than the amount in her account. Please take a moment to answer the summary questions and remember to answer in complete sentences. We do check for this in class. And remember, if you don't have any questions, write a problem for your group to solve in class.